This episode of the Rogue Deck Builder has been brought to you by fans like yourself who have purchased a Shy Guy Rogue playmat. Considering help funding the Rogue Deck Builder channel by purchasing your playmat today, visit roguedeckbuilder.com. Hi there, it's Kevin with roguedeckbuilder.com here with match number one. Uh, we'll do some more matches maybe if this goes well. Anyway, this is the match with the Silverford Partisan deck that we did the deck tech on. And this is a keyboard hand. We have an Abbot and then a bunch of uh, two cantrip type spells to hopefully find us, dig us towards that Silver Silverford Partisan. Go ahead and keep it. And see what we're up against. It's going to be a Shambling Vent. I don't want to go up against Control, especially stuff that doesn't target our, our creatures with instances of sorceries. We do get another Abbot, which is good. I don't think we play an Abbot next turn. I think we just play a Tormenting Voice and get rid of a Titanic Growth, possibly. Or, yeah, Fork in the Road is better here. So I'm going to go get a Forest to put in the Graveyard. Uh, so a mountain in hand and a forest in the graveyard. And that gives uh, two cards for the delirium for our scourge wolf, which I don't know if it is going to end up being that big of an issue or not. But next turn we can go abbot. And there's a scourge wolf, but we'll abbot here over the scourge wolf. We can keep this expedite for... And we do hit a land, awesome. Um, no, we'll expedite right now. See if he decides to kill the abbot. He does not, so we can get in there for three. Uh, really, really questioning why he didn't expedite our ultimate price and response there. That would have, wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't have drawn a card. Oh, well, that works. We got advantage out of our abbot. And the ultimate price is out of his hand for the Scourge Wolf. And we actually have Delirium online. So we can hit him for quite a bit in I can actually attack in to get in here. I'll kill his. I wonder if we can surge. We don't have enough mana for what I want to do. But getting is going to be a pain for this deck, so. We have an, another Expedite. Yeah, I just don't quite have the mana. We can at least get rid of this Knight token. Uh, I probably should have abbotted here. Yeah, that was bad. Hopefully we don't find it land on top. Because we don't get advantage out of the Abbot. Should have played it the other way around. Titan Strength is fine. Because at least we can get rid of the... Uh... Yeah, we can get rid of... A token. And then scry. Well, we don't have any way to clear this blocker. And he'll have mana up next turn. So getting is just a pain. And he's just going to let Gideon die, huh? Means he has another one in his hand. Or he just, I, I, I don't know why he'd want to keep it. Yeah, he's got to have another one in his hand, but that's fine. We'll get rid of it. And definitely want this on top. It's our way to kind of swarm through his allies. And we can actually expedite it next turn. Just going to attack him with a shambling vent. That just seems desperate. I, I, I have no clue. I'm questioning my opponent's plays here. Really questioning why he'd want a Gideon to die. Because can't we just kill him here? Close. I mean, what does he have for one mana? 
because we go forest, um, yeah, we'll go Scourge Wolf, which Delirium is active. We have a instant creature land and sorcery in the graveyard. So Scourge Wolf. And then Expedite. And then, uh, yeah, is there anything? I don't think there is anything for two mana, but we'll just go through the motions like there, or for one mana. Tagging with both of them. And then Titanic Growth. That's a lot of damage. Down to a six. They should think twice about Westville Abbey's extremely annoying. This can be a Soren. See what he decides to do, where he decides to kill. Probably on the Scourge Wolf for just two. Uh, so now we have to follow the Titans. Somehow we need to. Love to draw land here. Absent Judgment's also okay, also okay because we can Tormenting Voice it. Yeah, I think we can kill Soren here, but he's still still fighting an uphill battle because we Tormenting Voice and then Abyssin Judgment does two damage divided any way you choose. Or we could just... Does that... Does the Madness even... Yeah, the Madness just gets us a free card with it. So Tormenting Voice... Um... Discarding Addison's Judgment. And... Now it should allow us to pump in. Uh, that should be, what is it doing here? It should, is Avacyn Judgment messed up? Yeah, I don't have to pay two. This is ridiculous. Okay, so, cast here. And that's, that's the damage. Yeah, there might be a, it should not be making me pay two here. <laughs> Stupid game. Because uh, we're, we're discarding it for its madness cost. What in the world is this dumb game doing? Yeah, wow. It's bugged. Of course. Well, that's ridiculous. Yeah, so it wasn't allowing me to pay the madness cost. It was paying the actual casting cost of <laughs> Avison's judgment. So we'll have to submit a bug report. And that's going to be huge because he gets a Soren that can just negative one. That's going to win the game right there because I couldn't kill the Soren. So, Empty Joe fails again at life, right? I'm not missing something here. I really... I can kill Soren next turn, though, and then fall the Titans and kill whatever he puts out. Probably should have waited for that tormenting voice in my hand or the the land, but we will just fall for nothing. Or can I play the silver for partisan? Fall for nothing, or fall for one, and then surge it. No, that only surged for two. So 
Can we just add three here? So that's one, two. Yeah, we can just follow the Titan, kill off Soren. Everything at Soren. But, again, this would be a Soren. We should have an Abbot around and a Soren that's dead. Not have to deal with this with the, the bug of the Abbot's and Judgment. And he gets another Gideon, which I guess we can kill off the Gideon tokens. I think I'm just going to get a Silver Fur silver per, silver per Partisan and we'll do another one. But not, not sure. And then we can surge for zero to put out two two twos, if we wanted to do that. Or if it will let us even do that. I uh, don't know how bugged an empty Joe is going to be here. Or we can just hold up. And he's going to declaration of stone. So here I think we need to. Just get some more tokens out. We'll get some clue tokens. Hopefully he doesn't have another declaration stone in his hand. And he can even activate his shambling vent. But we do have two draws and a ton of wolves. This is why I wanted the Atarka's command in here. We can tighten strength one of them with the blocks with the shambling vent. I'm going to go ahead and sack a clue. Village Messenger is okay. It's kind of, I'd rather Tormenting Voice it though at this point. <laughs> and we get two. So Village Messenger and Village Messenger. And can we, I don't think we can kill him here. I think I'll keep him back though, possibly. And it'll attack like this. See where he decides to block. So the sham event will be activated. We'll tighten strength the wolf that blocks the shambling event. Unless he's got another. Yeah, there's a the shambling event. Uh, Scourge Wolf at this point, we can put it on top. It's another creature. But that worked out very well for us. Now hopefully we can have the board cleared another time and come back in this game. Still worried about to secure the ways for this Westvale Abbey. But if he doesn't cast any of these, these two messengers actually flip. Don't know why he's just grasping a village messenger. That's oh, because he needs to cast something. 
So we know it's a Scourge Wolf. Yeah, I definitely should have bought him the Scourge Wolf. Uh, I'd love another Expedite here with a Sack Draw card. Uh, I'll keep the Game Trail in my hand as another Tormenting Voice can get rid of it. And let's just hope there's no Secure the Waste. It's a Stasis Snare. It's going to get rid of a Wolf. But he's out of cards now. And I think I'll just keep the the, uh, the Scourge Wolf in hand. Oh no, I shouldn't have. I was thinking he didn't cast this, but he cast a Stasis Snare, duh. Okay. Alright, so he went anyway, even through all those hiccups of... Well, that's a useless card now, the Avacyn Judgment. Ugh. I'm going to bring in Spark Mage's Gambits and possibly Titanic Strength. He has a lot of ways to deal with it. I actually like a Targus Command here, though. The Fall of the Titan seems fine. Arlen Court actually seems great in this. Halpak Resurgence? Maybe not. Uh, the Village Messengers? I need to keep creatures. There's not a lot of creatures I can, I can bring in and take out. E Epic Conf Confrontation can actually kill those pesky tokens. But I don't know if it's worth it. Dual Shot, I think, is just too weak. Twin Bolt is just better than... Maybe Twin Bolt's better than uh, Spark Major's Gambit. Not quite sure. Spark Major's Gambit's just in here. I don't know if we need him just to, to force out the block. Lead by Example, of course, this one of is very weird, awkward in this deck. I think we just take it the Lead by Example. I'm going to keep it as is. I don't think we need to do much to this except take out these absent Judgments that don't work. I could bring back in another Halpak Resurgence. It's okay. Yeah, I don't think there's many creatures I have to try to kill. Uh, he does. He might have the Lifelinker, the, uh, the Kalatos. We'll go ahead and submit this. Really wish we had another wolf that, I don't know, the wolf that if they cast a spell on your turn, you draw a card, I think is pretty sweet. Oh, this is a very similar hand to the last one. So we'll just start off with a Cinder Glade might as well come into play tapped. Since we don't have a turn two play and then here we can just game trail reveal a mountain and then we will use our fork in the road maybe I should like look for some other delirium based cards I wonder if there's some good ones because we get delirium quite I mean I, I was so desperate to discourage wolf online which I, I think might be a mistake uh, we'll just get rid of a, a mountain here well, that mountain goes in hand, and a mountain in the graveyard. And then, pass the turn. Next turn, we have an Abbot that will hopefully hit. He's going to read the bones. Geez, land destruction actually seems pretty decent in these type of formats. Taking a Shambling Vent or a Westville Abbey, the, the uh, one out of... Battle for Zendikar that exiles all of them? I don't know. That's starting. It's four drop though, but it's it's starting to seem like it'd be good. Even against Bant Company, you can, you can force them out of like take all of their lumbering falls before they're activated. Um, Cinder Glade, we can wait till later. It's just going to be a Abbot here, and we'll drop it. down to a 17 I'm loving this fall of the Titans it's seen a ton of play at the Pro Tour I don't know if you're too late last night we were we I had 10 of them personally we had 10 copies of fall of the Titans so we didn't spec into them but now I'm thinking that was an, a, a rookie mistake because the deck is just performing phenomenally and this card is their win condition just and it's now it's just once they bring to light like the 
card, not the card bring to light. Like when they bring to light the fact that this card is good, then it will start seeing play in decks that it's not so geared towards. So my village messenger does flip. And here I think we will just play a forest. Or we I feel still think we another mountain. I think we just attack in since he didn't play any spells. I want to wait till he taps out for like a huge um yeah, expedite type attack. Yeah, and he would have killed something it looks like here. Is he going to stasis snare something? So we got in for some free damage. I'm surprised he decides to take the the wolf. I want him to go like Gideon or something here. Now, Duress is annoying. I think we're just going to use the Atarka's command. Uh, three damage to each opponent and put a land. Because I think that's what he'd take. Still a card for a card. He'll probably take the fall of Titans here. But he would have taken a Targus command if not. Both of these are pretty lethal if he taps out now. Like Scourge Wolf is going to be not quite online. As soon as Scourge Wolf gets online though, Scourge Wolf is pretty lethal. Yeah, definitely saw the fall fall of Titan coming. We need a man land for green red. I wonder if splashing needle spires would be the right call. It's I think white. I don't know what we'd get from white. Does white have white does have some rebound cards? Would be pretty good. The rebound um, protection, and I guess that's a route we could go as well. Instead of red, we could go into white with the uh, Silver for Partisan, and then have some of those rebound. There's a rebound flying card. There's a rebound protection from Center Soul is what it's called. And then we also, I think there was some pretty sweet ones out of Origins as far as pump spells. Well, that's a very annoying card, a 3-1. This is where, this card should be terrible with our all of our dual shots and things like that. But it's going to give him some lifelink and be able to push through. Yeah, that's a very annoying card. Unfortunately, it's just another Cinder Glade. I think we're just going to expedite here. And now we get our Scourge Wolf. I will make this trade. Um, should we protect it? Should we keep it alive? I think I'm going to. But he still gets the life out of it. And I did get a scry a card to the bottom. Don't know if that's the right play. But we keep the abbot alive, which means like a target's commander still really good. Or that happens. So now we're definitely grasping at straws. We need Arlen here. Abbott's a great card. Always a great top deck card. At least we play it. 
But the flood is real. We may have 20, 20 lands in this deck, so three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, one on the bottom. So gone through half our lands. There's the annoying Gideon. A fall of the Titans will be incredible though if we <laughs> No. I'll play a Cinder Glade and just pass. So that's the story of this game. We'll tack in, we'll we'll take it. This guy is so suicidal with his attacks. The whole reason he lost game one was the way he was attacking in so aggressively. Uh, he'll exile that back. Village Messenger is not going to do much. I think I just keep everything in my hand. And he'll actually kill Gideon. He's going to go on the aggressive here. And then, most likely, I think he's going to animate a Shambling Vents. Oh, he's got another Gideon. So he's going to create another token, and then I just die from the Westfell Abbey. The following turn. All right, so I'm just going to concede this with that that land. There's no way we come back. That was way too many lands. Again, that's, what, 12 of our lands we've gone through? In a, so eight, card, eight, eight lands left in a 38-card deck. All right, so we're going to bring back in, like I think, if he's going to bring in the 3-1 flyers and whatnot. Um, I might actually bring an epic co confrontation so because it, it gets rid of Gideon tokens quite well, puts a sorcery into our graveyard, and pumps up our guys. I think they're not bad in the deck and same thing with twin bolt twin bolt's really good at taking care of a gideon token as well as sorry about that just on my microphone uh, as well as um yeah i'd rather have it than titanic growth lead by example titanic growth i think are kind of weak in this one same thing with the Halpack resurgent travel is actually pretty relevant i do want one of these Dual shots are okay, but I think Twin Bolts are just better. Absent Judgment still does split damage. I'm going to bring it back in. And Spark, Major's, Spark Mage's Gambit can make two creatures not block. So this isn't terrible either when he, he tries to... And it's a sorcery speed to get that online. I'd just be like, what is the weird, awkward card in here that we'd want to get rid of? And in that case, we have to still cut four cards. I'm just going to go one Epic Confrontation, one Absent Judgment, and one Twin Bolt. And that just helps with the diversity of our spells. Go ahead and submit this. Hopefully we can avoid drawing uh, 12 lands this, this time. All right, so let's see what we... <laughs> it's loving this little Abbott draw. And we, we get to come out swinging here with a Village Messenger. which will hopefully flip. And it does. So it's now a 2-2 two -two Menace, which is actually really good. I think that we are just going to Cinder Glade because we might as well. It's going to come into play tap no matter what. I mean, we can put out a, a forest, which does nothing, and go with another Village Messenger. Now, we are very weak to a... Declaration in Stone now. Well, actually, there are two different names. We're going to get in here for three. And this is the aggressive draw that I definitely did want to see. And 
and no play, which it's not a grasp or a declaration. I don't think there's anything that has instant speed here. So the other uh, messenger flips. And I still think we do cast the abbot. He could have a surge of righteousness. I mean, that is very real, except a lot of cards don't have them anymore. Oh, that hurts too. Um, yeah, and we actually game trail does not allow us to... Oh, yes, we can game trail here. Ah, I find a silver for partisan anyway, which is good. So we attack in for seven. And if he has a Surge of Righteous, oh, ultimate price, okay. Yeah, that's the instant speed that he has. These do flip back. But they did their jobs. And they flip back anyway, so that's good news. Probably has a Stasis Snare. So we're going to throw out a Silver Partisan. We're going to try to protect it. I don't know. The Tendrils is very awkward. He's got to target it now. If he has one. And so Ultimate Price, which keeps our Silver Partisan alive. I'd hate to run into a Tendrils, but I still think it's the right move to Titan Strength right now. Gets us a 2-2. Two -two. Really puts him. Um, we're gonna bottom the tormenting voice. We have a target for it right now. He's down to a seven. It has to be a tendrils or a languish that he draws into. And he had the he had the flame tendrils. There's nothing you you have to play it out. I think now we have a, a scourge wolf. Whoops! Can't can't tap a. Which the tormenting voice next turn will get it online. And if we just draw into one of our burn spells late game, a couple of burn spells, we should be good because I kept those in. So Gideon here. It's going to put out a Night Ally. But we can... Which is better here? This puts a land... Yeah, Fork in the Road is better. Well, we have Creature, Creature, Instant... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually do need this Fork in the Road. Because it gives us... That's our draw face. It also gives us the land to discard to the Tormenting Voice. So... Come on, get out of my draw step. There we go. Main face. We'll Fork in the Road... We don't need any more, so I'm going to put a mountain in hand, a forest in the graveyard. And then we'll Tormenting Voice to draw two cards. There's Expedite, so those are okay. Those are great for next. We have to attack into him. He'll block, yeah. Too bad this doesn't have Trample. But he's got to throw out another token or kill this Scourge Wolf. Flaying Tendrils was rough. But these Expedites are, are very lethal at any time. Other than Gideon throwing out tokens. This is the deck you want Virulent Plague against. This is an incredibly fun deck to slam a Virulent Plague and watch him. Uh, ooh, Read the Bones is, is very, very risky for him. He thinks he's okay. But this is, we're getting very close to just being able to kill with like a Targus Command. Or very, very close even with the, like Avacyn's Judgment that doesn't work. <laughs> what a dumb card. Okay, so, um, 
Yeah, because having a judgment of tormenting voice is actually pretty... Oh, I grasped it. Ugh, gross. Another game trail. We'll play it. This is just... Terrible news for us if he stabilizes at 5. He doesn't have game life at the moment. Love to draw like an abbot. And that just means he has another Gideon, but that means he's tapping out as well. But I don't know if we're gonna we need to draw into like subsequent like double burn spells. Targus command is good. Uh, we can end a turn to Tarkus Command. I could have just used an Expedite as a cantrip, but we'll see here. He'll attack in for three, or for six. And I think we still use it. Goes to a two. We'll draw a card with Expedite. Not a card I wanted to see. But Tormenting Voice can draw us two more cards. And Follow the Titan does hit for two. All right, so we take that one down. <laughs> very, very close. So I'm liking the way the deck runs. It's been Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.